Hello and welcome to the fourth part of the Swift Calculator uh, tutorial. Today we will add some actions to our calculator. And yeah, so we will start by adding a new struct called action view, which is of type view. And of course we will add the body, which is of type some view. And for now we will just return a text, an empty text. And yeah, so we create an enum called action. And we want to have the different cases called equal, uh, clear, plus, minus, multiply, and divide. And yeah, so we want to have a function that returns an image for each of these. And be aware that this image type, this is a view of SwiftUI, so uh, yeah. And here we just use a switch self statement. And first of all, we start with equal. And here we just return an image that is called uh, equal and these images with a system name it's that it, that's new in Swift uh, 5 point, uh, in Swift 5 or in the new Xcode that there are images that are provided by Apple and you can just use them without the need of having any uh, images or assets in the assets catalog. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And we will continue with clear. We return an image that's called xmark.circle. So then case plus returns the image called plus and I will just copy that for the other ones Also called multiply, and here um, divide is also called divide. Yes, yeah, so now we have our switch statement ready. Um, we will create a calculate function, and this works a little bit different than the uh, previous function that we wrote in the other video where we have an operation that only takes one input we now have two inputs and yeah we also return a double but this is an optional because if our action is equal or clear we can calculate the uh, result so we will switch self again and we add a default statement at the bottom where we just say return nil and above that we have of course our other statements So after we have all of that, we can continue 
with our visual representation and yeah so as you have seen we have an image here and what we want to do is we want to have our we, we can use a let variable uh, for our action which is of type action and of course we also want our binding state so binding or state of type calculation state and here we can just say action dot image and we get our image and now we of course will style it a little bit and for first of all a really funny thing is uh, that you can actually use a font on these images and I will show you that later how this works but first of all let's use a foreground color uh, of white then a frame of course with width 64 and height 64 and the background should be green oh, let's see color dot green and uh, the corner radius should be 20 and the sh we want to have a shadow as well it should be uh, green dot opacity and here we want to have 0 0.3 about 30 percent then the radius is again 10 the x is zero and the y is also 10. so yeah let's build that and here we forgot these two so if we now add our action view right here as action we type for example clear and the state is of course our state object and we can now try to build it and as you will see yeah this does not look like we want so it is not similar it, the image does not have a similar style as the other ones and we can change that by using a font on the image and I was very surprised that this works but it actually works and we use the title font as on the other ones and we add the weight of bold and if we do this you see it looks like the other ones and yeah that's really amazing i think and in the next video we will add the functionality to these buttons and yeah so then the calculator is more or less finished hope to see you in the next video if you liked it uh, i hope that you give it a like and yeah